All right, so we've created our graphic. So how do we get it inside of our topic object? Let's go ahead and open up the topic object here. Let's open up my X1000 introduction topic. All right. Now let's say, let's give myself some room on the screen here. Let's say that I don't want this file object inside of my topic object anymore. I can either right click it and select remove or I can put my cursor before or after it and hit backspace or delete. Either way, that will remove the graphic from your document. Now, if you know where the graphic is located and it's easier for you to do it this way, what you can do to add that graphic to your topic object is to select it from your folder and use our handy click and drag, our catch-all option for working with Authorit. Click and drag is going to go ahead and click and drag that graphic inside of your topic object. We can go ahead and save that now. Now another way to insert a graphic into your topics is to use our different uh, insert options up here at the top of the screen. So instead of clicking and dragging, I can select insert file object, which is this little icon here. Go to the folder where that graphic is located and we'll go ahead and select the file object. All right, so either way to do it, click and drag or go to insert file object located at the top of the screen and insert your file object this way. Now you can also copy and paste. So if you just highlight that graphic, do a right click copy or control C, and then a right click paste or control V, it will insert that graphic into your topic object. So let's say we wanted that same topic or that same graphic to appear in this topic. I'll do a little control V action and now I have placed that same graphic inside of multiple topic objects. Now I am still reusing the same graphic file in this case. Alright, so the same file object is being reused now in multiple locations. Alright, and if you can remember how you can tell where a graphic has been reused, you can run that Show Relationships Report, which will give you a list of all the objects using that graphic. All right. Or another way to tell, let's go ahead and double click on it, our trusty object code. So I've double clicked on this file object to open it. It's object code 830. If I go back to my other topic object, we see object code 830. So you know you are looking at the exact same object. All right. Let's go ahead and delete some of these graphics here. Go ahead and save. All right. So again, file objects, two ways to work with them. You can either embed them, meaning save them in the database, or link to them, meaning they still exist somewhere out on your network. All right. And to insert them into a topic object, you can simply click and drag them in. Let's go ahead and do that now. So click and drag or you can go up to Insert File Object, browse to that file object, and insert it that way. Okay, it'd help if I didn't select the same exact graphic. There we go. All right. Go ahead and save that. And again, to open it, double-click on it, 
and we see here object code 830, so we are still reusing that same object in multiple locations in our library.